Hello, this is the sign of crisis, male suicide by Adam Jamu. According to the Center of Disease Control, over 40,000 American males have taken their own lives in 2022 alone. The main cause for the increase of this sobering statistic could be an uprising pressure for males to provide for their families and a societal stigma surrounding seeking mental health for men in the modern era specifically. With such social and economic implications, males have been shown to take their lives at over 1.8 times the rate of their female counterparts, according to the National Institute of Health. Again, as you can see in this graph, one has shown the greater degree and overall evidence of the male suicide crisis in the United States, with white, black, and Hispanic males totaling the largest portions. Now, in regards to the silent crisis, how should the United States combat the pressure for males to provide and the societal stigma surrounding seeking mental health for men in the modern era. The first stimulus piece embodied in my argument was Simone Biles, The Most Human Meaning of Courage by Marcus Thompson II. In the source, Biles had statements of, I was fighting all those demons. No, the mental is not there, which specifically relates to my thesis in the way that she was put under extreme pressure to perform well at the Tokyo Olympics in 2020 just as men are put under similar pressure to be the sole financial beneficiary for a family and providing economically with no room for error. The second stimulus piece used was Through the Tunnel, a portion of a book by Doris Lessing, which, which also resonates with my thesis in the, part of the, of the part in the novel when a young boy named Jerry's initial confrontation near the bridge symbolizes his breaking past internal struggle to achieve his goal of swimming through the tunnel. And this relates to my thesis because it highlights the need for males to confront their fears of being wrongfully criticized for their mental illness so these males may receive the help they need. Next, we will cover gender socialization and more specifically, gender socialization's contribution to male suicide through pressuring a male breadwinner. But what is gender socialization? According to Nicola Baldwin, an author at UNICEF, gender socialization is gender appropriate attitudes and behaviors to others. Beginning at birth, gender socialization is intensified as a child further develops, and gender socialization has accounted for over 86% of male children to be a breadwinner for their family, according to the Pew Research Center. This leaves further more pressure on males specifically to provide for their women and children with no room for failure. Also, this perpetuates the need for males to be a breadwinner for their family, and this point is affirmed by Ada et al., a member of the International Journal for Stress Management, when she states, being the breadwinner can put stress on job stress, which can, which can create anxiety and time pressure. This specific quote, once again, relates more to male suicide, because due to, due to the fact that men from gender socialization are often associated with being the primary breadwinner of a family, and when not able to live up to this, or simply having the pressure of being a breadwinner, this may put unwavering stress and illness up, upon them. Also, according to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, although only 1 in 10 men will be mentally afflicted throughout their lifetime, only societal stigmas will lead to only half of these men to go receive mental health. <coughs> However, in order to mitigate these issues, solution one will be implementing mental health programs into schools to specifically destigmatize seeking mental health for men. As for the implications of the solution, the stigma around seeking mental health for men specifically will be significantly reduced. Along with this, children will have better emotional knowledge from learning these subjects, and this will lead them to know if they need help themselves, another citizen, or a family member. And along with the reduced stigma against seeking mental health for men, there's a lesser pressure for their independency, and therefore, according to the National Institute of Health, a lesser, a lesser pressure for uh, loneliness, which is one of the main causes of their suicide. And as you can see in this graph, one has shown how school programs are effective in lowering sexual risk, substance use, suicidality, and violence, and this is from the CDC specifically, which is why schools pose an effective and feasible solution. However, as for the limitations of the solution, there may be schedule restrictions due to the fact that the goal is not to overwhelm students, however, they still need a general understanding of the topic, and also finding experts will prove to be a challenge. Finally, there will also be an inconsistency in understanding based off socioeconomic status and attention needs. The next solution 
increasing the women workforce will be proficient in limiting the necessity of breadwinners in our society. As for the implications of this solution, with more diversity in the workforce, this will lead to ample amounts of innovation. Along with this, as both parents are working, there will be a more equitable financial sponsorship of a family which can perpetuate economic stability. As for the limitations of the solution, this may pose a higher rate for female suicide, and there are also worries about the gender wage gap with realism and accessible options as well for females as they have not give, been given equal opportunities in the past. And as you can see, this image shows some, some of the times that some of the areas where women are given equal opportunities. And finally, I end this presentation with a call to action. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental illness, I encourage you to reach out. Thank you. Okay, Adam, um, can you tell me how uh, your research may have gone in a different direction than you originally expected? So yes, initially I was going to focus on the specific societal norms which can influence suicide, such as toxic masculinity, and possibly how social media exasperates the struggle of mental illness. However, I decided to go more in the path of how pressuring, pressuring males to provide for their families can cause the most amount of suicide. And then what are the implications of your finding to the community? So obviously as we are in a, the Brophy community with all males, we, we've seen so many tragic cases of men, of Brophy boys in our community dying due to the, the mental illness and they don't want to reach out because of social media implementing these societal norms and obviously masculinity around you. You don't want to feel weak and vulnerable if you reach out. So I feel like my findings should encourage those who are struggling mentally to reach out because there's always someone to help you. Okay, thank you. So question, in health, do you have, a, don't they cover mental health in, health, in your health class? Um, do they talk about that? Oh yeah, 